All right, so this is going to be a quick video just comparing uh, the Native American flute and its scale, in this case specifically the G minor pentatonic scale, and another flute in a G minor or G aeolian configuration. So you can play... <clears throat> So this is the new flute. Here's a here's an uh, example. This is the Native American flute in G, pentatonic minor. How the the that's the whole layout, and this is the whole layout in my new G Aeolian or G minor flute. Okay, so it's basically just a difference in the whole layout for ease of play. Okay. Let me go ahead and play the G minor or G aeolian first. I had to overblow to get to that note. Now I'm going to play it on the Native American flute. Or the, the regular uh, Native American flute layout as far as the scale. Same thing. Um... But, as you can see, it's much more difficult to finger, okay? And so that's primarily the reason, just for ease of play. Now, the Native American flute is a fully chromatic instrument. You can play all 12 tones. But it's a little bit difficult. If you're playing a chromatic piece, you know, the reliability of cross fingering uh, leaves a lot to be desired. Hence the development of the modern concert flute that had it's all keyed. You know, you can play multiple octaves on it, you can play multiple keys on it because it has a uh, the mechanical uh, capability to do that. You know, by having a key and a pad, when you hit it, you're going to have consistency in playing that note. And then by the cross fingering is done, obviously, by pressing different keys, and then you get different holes opening here and there that's going to give you those reliable, reliable notes, you know. So basically, the reason why I would have something like this is to have is to be able to play this nice minor scale reliably without having to think about it and making easy transitions between the notes without having to do this complicated cross fingering and basically messing up you know so that's the reason why you have something like this is that it's just convenience and for ease of play i mean nothing can be more easy than just going straight you don't have to hold your middle finger down anymore this is just straight up There you go. Now you can also play your regular minor pentatonic uh, scale on the Aeolian flute as well. I'll go ahead and play it on the Native American flute first. And we'll play it on the Aeolian. There you go. But it's more difficult to play on this than it is on this. So <clears throat> that's basically the whole reasoning. And just a little uh, thing on modes here. This stuff's all over the internet. And you can look it up. But basically an Aeolian mode is just a minor mode. And then so as a contrast, the Ionian mode would be a major mode. So major scales would be in the Ionian mode, minor scales would be in the Aeolian mode. So there's a lot of stuff on that. I can't say that I really understand it very thoroughly, but that really is the difference. Um, and I just use the Aeolian because that's what the maker called it. And uh, but it's just a G minor scale, which you can play fully on this. Um, So 
if you want to work with it, you certainly can. It's just much more difficult. So, And then this flute is designed a little bit differently, too. I mean, I like them both. They both have a great sound, but they're a little bit different. This one obviously has a bigger bore, and uh, it's cedar, so it's a lighter wood. And it has a little bit more reedy sound. A little quieter. This flute is a three-quarter inch bore. This one I'm not exactly sure. It's probably more like seven-eighths, but you can see the difference. So there's more back pressure in this flute, which I think it plays a little easier. And then if you notice where the sound block is in the first hole, much farther down in the flute, and this is designed so that you can overblow the flute and get a few notes in the upper octave. I can get about four, which I can only, I can't get any on this. So that's another reason. Um, and then of course it's made in a different wood. This is black limba, um, and so this has a richer, darker, more velvety tone. Again, that's a G, A440. So is this. So the timbre of the instrument is a lot different as well. Really love the tone of this instrument. It's just fabulous. And so that's basically it. And uh, is it traditional? Absolutely not. But what I'm doing is I'm taking advantage of this uh, particular Native American style flute with the two chambers. So it has the easy to play embouchure. And I'm just marrying, or the maker was marrying a different scale to it rather than the traditional Native American pentatonic scale. So that's the only difference. And uh, I like it because... Uh, and I probably plan on getting some more flutes that have different scales too. Um, it just opens, it's, it just expands your possibilities and your different, uh, you can get different tones and, and different sounds and things like that. So it's just, it's just a great uh, tool to have, you know.